What is up guys and welcome back to our Road to Glory Crew Mode with Plymouth episode number 34 and today we have got the first three Premier League games of um, the new Premier League season. We've got one Capital One Cup game but I'll be simming that because you'll see later on it's against a quite easy team. But anyway, our first opening day of the season game is against Southampton away. Now, this time last year in the season, well, not this time last year, but last time we played Southampton away, we uh, we drew 2-2 two -two and they got a late goal that really pissed me off. So I was hoping to win them. And to be fair, they had the first chance here. Charlie Austin came quite close, but yeah... I see last episode. I mean, it wasn't the longest episode, and the reason why is, like I said, I was just setting up, you know, our, our new season. I was just kind of showing you the transfer targets. We, we made two signings, don't get me wrong, we made a signing here from Redmond and uh, Bruno, both from Norwich. So, uh, them two came in, and, um, you know, obviously, we're making a few signings this episode as well. But what I normally do is, I normally do kind of two episodes in the summer transfer window. I do, obviously, episode one as the opening. And then this one, I would normally do as deadline day. But this time, I'm doing deadline day in this episode. I'm going to wait for next episode to do it. Just to stretch it out a bit more and just kind of, you know, just do a bit more kind of transfers uh, than I normally do. But anyway, we had to took the lead against Southampton, Heber Murphy. It was a quite a lucky goal, I'm not going to deny that. I mean, somehow it went in, I really don't know. I mean, the first shot was blocked, went up in the air. Hebber Murphy's header should have probably been saved by the goalkeeper. I don't know, obviously, you can't see the angle from where he's at. But, uh, you know, a looping header over the goalkeeper. And, uh, you know, I'd say that every day of the week. But as you see, you know, we're pushing on for a second. It was getting late on in the game. I thought I had to score a second to probably, you know, get my win. And as you see here, my new player, Nathan Redmond, his shot was parried by the goalkeeper, and there he is, a little playmaker, Jack Payne, uh, following his, uh, well, continuing his form from last year, you know, he gets in a tapping, uh, a goal's a goal, puts us 2-0 up, and basically Ed won us the game, so well done to him uh, for being there in the right place at the right time, because a lot of times in FIFA, you know, a lot of them play, a lot of the players are in the box, and it is annoying when a shot does come out like that, and the defender... Well, and the defending team just has loads of time to clear it. And I, I absolutely hate it because, you know, none of your players have gone into the box. But, guys, I mean, look at this, right? That's a shot, not a pass to Van Aanholt. And, I mean, f what what the hell? I mean, I didn't actually bring him in for his shooting. I brought him in because he had pace and he was quite strong and good at defending. But, I mean, that pass, I actually shot with my uh, centre-back, Valagun. don't know what to call him because his name's just freaking weird. But, yeah, I mean, the, the spinning on that shot to Van Arnold, well, well, pass, technically, oh, it was so funny. And then the goal to top it off, oh, it's a world-class goal to say that is the first game of the season. So, you know, we got a 3-0 win in the end, which I was so happy about. You can probably tell from my voice, I'm happy from it now. But, yeah, uh, Ben Birmingham wanted my uh, CDM Allen, hardly played for us, don't really know why I bought him actually in the end. I know he was cheap in League 2 but you know, just hasn't played, been alone all the time. But anyway, he was offering for two players, one was Hector Bellerin, needing a new right back I thought, you know, get that rating up in the right back position, um, kind of the weakest point in the team at the moment, but um, you know, even better, his contract was running out at the end of the season, so I was probably able to get him for a bit cheaper than you know I normally would have done. I think if his contract wasn't running out, I'd probably have to pay at least ten million. And thankfully, with it running out, I don't think I'd have to pay at least like five. But to be fair, I was trying to swap him for uh, my young right back Adele because you know I think he's crap. He hasn't played much. I prefer Hewitt than him, and his free ratings lower. But anyway. It was against QPI in our next game, and they took the lead very early on in the fifth minute. Their big German striker, Polter, with a tap in there. I thought he got a bit lucky, but there again, you know, like I said, it, uh, with my strikers, you know, I love him being in the right place at the right time, following up with shots, and um, he was kind of in the right place at the right time, following up with uh, a shot. So, you know, he put them one nil up, a bit annoying. I mean, to be fair, QPR, well, going into this game, I'm not kidding you, I don't think I've won QPR on any FIFA 16 career mode. They are my bogey team on this game. And I'm not just saying that because we're 1-0 down. They are. I mean, to be, to be fair, we make it 1-1 one, one here with Lansbury. Good goal there from him. But I'm not I'm not kidding you. I don't think I've won against QPR this season. I remember with Fulham, I definitely didn't win them in that career mode. And, uh, you know, in Coventry, 
I don't think I'm going to win that one either. So, you know, going into this game, I was a bit optimistic. I wasn't really looking forward to it because I was thinking I was going to get the loss. And, you know, even when they went one up very early on, I was thinking, friggin' hell, you know, not this again. But luckily, Henry Lansbury, uh, good finish from him there. And uh, to be fair, we were getting close. Bruno, unlucky with the shot. He's a good player. I really like Bruno. As you see... Uh, Early on in the game, he came close with a free kick, hitting the crossbar. You know, he's one of them creative midfielders that has a lot of kind of good uh, technical abilities to him. But look at that, guys, even worse. They take the bloody lead, don't they? Sandro, with, I mean, what is this finish? Ah, just. Why is Harvey not saving that? I mean, he got a touch to it anyway. Knocks it onto the post. I just. I'm a bit annoyed with Harvey there. I thought he could have saved that. I thought he maybe could have saved the first one, actually. I don't know. Is that just me thinking because I've conceded? I don't know. But, yeah. I see. We was 2-1 down. Redmond, unlucky not to get his first goal for the club there, hitting the crossbar. But, luckily, we had another player uh, following on with the follow-up. And uh, it's that guy, Bruno, who I've just highlighted. Um, well done to him again. And, uh, you know, Redmond, I thought I should have scored, really. I, I must have just put too much power on it, really. But uh, the main thing was... We made it 2-2, got a goal before half-time, and uh, Massimo Bruno gets his first goal of the season, and for Plymouth, so, uh, you know, well done to him. As you see there as well, 45th minute, we came very close to making it 3-2. Awobi somehow didn't score. The only thing with Awobi is, he lacks finishing, and it's so frustrating when a winger lacks finishing, because that's what the, kind of their job is to do then cross the ball. I mean, they're meant to dribble in the box, maybe pass it or shoot, and it's so frustrating when they don't have good shooting abilities. But anyway, we uh, there weren't a lot of chances in the second half, but we actually got a penalty, and uh, I thought Bruno would take this only on the basis because, um, well, actually, he doesn't have very good uh, penalty um you know, grade actually. It's like it's wor I think it's one of the worst in the teams. But I thought he'd step up. You know, let him get his second goal of the uh, game, and uh, he does that. Sends a goalkeeper the wrong way, and he gets his second goal of the game, and um, you know, basically puts us up in the league. So yeah, we've actually uh, been able to win QPR for once, which uh, I'm quite surprised with. I mean, we had a lot one last chance there with uh, Lansbury, but you know, in the end, goalkeeper put off good save, and that was the game, so uh, yeah, good win all round, two wins out of two, not going to argue with that, so happy, and I see also, we accept a deal for uh, Alan, he looks like he's on his way to Birmingham, um, not as much money as I thought I would be able to get him for, but you know, whatever, and I see also, Chelsea accept a deal for the young, the young Belgium lad, now, I didn't know what rating he was, but with the price they wanted him for, and with the price they accepted, I was thinking around 70 to 75, so I took a bit of gamble on him and uh, thought I'd sign him, but first up, we, we actually ended up signing the next to Bellerin for not as much money as I thought I'd have to buy him for, you know, I got him for pretty cheap, and with those stats, I'm not going to argue with that, you know, brilliant signing, 80 rated, he'll it it be going straight into the squad, and uh, he'll be playing in this game against Norwich, which, you know, we just took two players off them, two of their probably highest rated players, and as you see also, uh, two players that we gave them, Osborne and Williams. Williams is on the bench, Osborne is starting as they're both kind of left wingers. But um, yeah, I mean, I didn't change the squad, uh, except from obviously Bellerin going in. I thought I didn't need to. I mean, we've won two games out of two. We've won 3-0 and won 3-2. So in two games, we scored six goals and conceded two. So, you know, we're doing pretty well. But to be fair, this game wasn't anything like the last two. I mean, there was only really two chances in the first half. And they both fell to the same clubs. As you see, Norwich unlucky there. We was unlucky with our first chance. And uh, that was the first half. So, quite a boring half. Uh, not much going on at all. I mean, it was very cagey. Both teams defended well. But finally, we actually broke the deadline. Um, you know, deadlock, sorry. <laughs> deadline, friggin' hell. But anyway, uh, Hebben Murphy, he gets his second goal of the season. Good finish there. I mean... I expect him to score them. He has 88 finishing, and, you know, like I said, he should be scoring them. A lot of the time, well, a lot of the time, sometimes, he actually doesn't score them, and it's a bit frustrating, because, I mean, I spent quite a bit of money on him when I bought him, uh, and I've trained him since I bought him. I've only recently stopped training him, because, obviously, you've got to train new players when you bring him in to obviously get him up to high ratings, because he's now actually certain term rated, which is quite a good rating to have. But, you know, sometimes he does miss some sitters. And it is annoying when you kind of train a player for so long and you get him to that amount of finishing ability and he just misses some chances. But anyway, 
Uh, again, like the first half, it wasn't the most exciting. I mean, don't get me wrong. Lewis got quite a bit of a lucky goal there. I mean, it bounced out of the defender, went back to him. He did well, though, kind of cutting inside, taking a few on. But like I said, it was a lucky goal in the end. But the main thing was he put us 2-0 up. And, uh, you know, obviously won us the game. But, like I said, you know, this game just wasn't as good as the last two. Even though we, we did end up winning 2-0. But there were just not as half as many chances as the other two games. But the main thing was we get the win. And even more better news, we uh, end up signing uh, Luka by. Now... I had Podolski uh, ready to accept, but, you know, I didn't have enough money for Podolski. Podolski is actually 79 rated in this game, but I just wanted to sign this young man and maybe sign Podolski in January because, you know, I only I actually accepted, well, uh, finalised the deal for uh, only 5 million for Podolski. And also, Borjas, you know, he looks like he's on his way to a new club. Hasn't played for us at all, so hopefully we'll ship him out as well. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and guys, I'll be seeing you later. Peace.